What's up guys, Lunchbox5930 here, and I know in this video I said And because of that, I'm gonna be going to Japan, I won't be able to make it to Anime Expo Well, that was a bold face lie. I ended up going to Anime Expo, I was there kind of on Thursday, I was there for Friday, I'm there for Saturday, I'm currently filming this on Sunday and that's not that important, but what I wanted to do was show how Bushiroad handled their panels and how they handled their booths. Last year's Anime Expo, I filmed this video here, and I showed some of the Bushiroad booth, and as you could tell, it's really, really empty. Like, there was nothing really there. And the main reason was, I did mention it in this podcast, I don't know what time I mentioned it, just... Listen to the whole thing. I said that the reason Bushy Road was so empty was because they had one of their tournaments the exact same day in Long Beach as I think day two and day three of Anime Expo. So all the people that were gonna go to the tournament ended up not going and ended up going to Anime Expo instead. And because of that, the booth was literally nothing there. Bang Dream hasn't really been out or brought to the States. Actually, Bang Dream was out. But it wasn't as big. Poppin' Party was still kind of like a joke. And honestly, uh, Rosalia kind of saved Bang Dream, but that's a video for another time. So all Bushy Road had was Love Life. That's it. Love Life Sunshine. They didn't even have Muse there. So yeah, that was the Bushy booth last year. All I did was buy a flag. I couldn't go to the panel because it got capped out with like, I think it was like 10 people in front of me. So I was kind of pissed. But last year, they did announce that Attack on Titan 2 was going to come out the same day as the Japanese release. So we got that for our English announcement. So this year, I did go to the panel, thankfully. But first, let's talk about the booths. Bushiro did not have their tournament this year the same day as Anime Expo. So they went all out. They literally had three booths. One exhibit booth, one merchandise booth, and a playing booth. Which last year, I really, really wanted them to have like a booth where you could play games. Because there was one for Magic, there was one for Pokemon, but there wasn't one for Bushy Road games. First, let's talk about the merchandise booth. Uh, Thursday, when I first showed up, I showed up a little later than I wanted to, but everything was pretty much sold out. There's a couple things here and there. Friday, same thing. I got to the actual exhibit hall a little later, and everything was pretty much sold out. Saturday, I got there as soon as the event hall opened, and there was a huge fucking line already. And then they shut down because everything was sold out. Literally, they had a sign. I didn't take a picture of it, but they had a sign that said, we are closed, everything was sold out. Literally, the only thing they had there were the Gurren Logan trial decks. And I think there was like three. And this was Saturday morning. So like around, I think 11 or 12 is when I checked back to the booth to see if the line died down a bit. And they were just closed. They had a couple cool things here and there, mainly what I wanted was a Poppin' Party hat, because I do love hats, but luck was not on my side and it was all sold out. That's good on Bushy Road's part, people want the merchandise, and they sold pretty well, but I think, I don't want to say they did this on purpose, that they did not bring enough, but I don't think that they realized how popular Bang Dream and Love Life was, to like the full extent, because it's hella popular but they I don't think they realized it's super 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 popular like they had a Quars, you know the girl from Love Life Sunshine perform at Anime Expo yeah and you expect not to like sell out literally day three everything was gone and there was already like low stock on like day one so now let's talk about the playing booth majority of it was Vanguard because you know they had an anime and some buddy fight here and there there were uh, some tables for free play. They did have a tournament that I did not attend because I was hanging out with my girlfriend at the time. But supposedly, like, every single, like, competitive player in the Southern California area was there. So I would not have lasted, like, at all. It was really nice to see them get their foot into there because now they're, like, one of the biggest card game companies now because there's magic there's pokemon there's Yu-Gi-Oh, and now there's uh the bushy road games majority of it was vanguard a little less was uh buddy fight and on the same plane as buddy fight there was white shores and i did not see anybody play uh dragonborn or dragoborn is dragoborn is it dragoborn it's dragoborn i did play a match i lost to kimono friends now let's talk about their main exhibit booth 
Now in the exhibit booth, they didn't have any merchandise. One side, they had Love Live Sunshine, and there was a big section dedicated to Bang Dream where you could watch them uh, perform live from one of their DVDs. And they actually had a play area where you could actually play the game. And if you played the game, they give you these right here. Uh, this is the first chapter of the manga, and there's really nothing much to it. It's just the first chapter. There's also a uh, little... You know, tidbits, there's how to play White Shores, there's where to watch the anime, there's uh, the Poppin' Party band up there. It's just, you know, there's an ad for uh, the app, the game, you know, how to play, tapping and stuff. It's really, really cool. It was free, all you had to do was play the game. And on top of that, you do get this card, it's an Arisa promo. Also, if you showed up someone early, you could get this, <laughs> this Michelle headband thing. And when I first got there on Thursday, I saw people with these and I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta fucking get one of these. I know I used to talk a lot of shit on Hello Happy World, but now I really do like it. And I went up to the bushy booth and they said no. They were all gone. Come back tomorrow. I did. Same thing. Friday. Said it's all gone. I came back Saturday, like right at 10 as soon as they opened. And I got one. I actually got two. I can't find the other one. But... Yeah, I got this. Also, on the second day, you get this card. It's uh, just the Yukina. We've got this card already as a shop promo, but it does have, you know, the gold foiling that says AX2018, which is really, really cool. Also, on Saturday, you get Simone and Nia, this PR, same thing, gold foiling. And Sunday, since I am not there for the convention, I'm gonna see what it is. I told my girlfriend to go pick me up one if they have it. So that was super fun. I played the game. Saw some people doing some of their what their guy during um, like I think it was Roselia or Pop and Party that were performing. What was really cool too was that they had these really big stands for the bands and I think it was Thursday or Friday Yukino's voice actress was there and she did a signing and one of my buddies actually got her signature and that was super, super fucking cool. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool and everything. And then on Saturday, I was just walking along and then I heard just people cheering and crowding around the Bushy Road booth. And then they were like, all right, who has a Vice Shores deck? And I was like, I have a Vice Shores deck. And they're like, all right, uh, rock, paper, scissors, whoever wins gets to play against Yukino's voice actress. And I was like, are you, really? She came out, people played rock, paper, scissors. She played a Roselia deck with like three of the SSPs. Yeah, the fucking ones that are like worth half, like a grand and a half, I think. And it was really cool to see that, you know, her interact with the fans, you know, playing a game that they love together, and that was really nice. And no, I didn't win. Also, every, everybody beat Yukina, so it's kind of sad. Also, when I was at the Bushy booth, the exhibit hall one, they gave me a flyer for Kara Expo, and it said on the bottom that you could purchase tickets at the merchandise booth. And I was like, oh, cool, I could get my ticket early. You know, it's only 15 bucks if you get it early, so went over there, waited in line for like, shit, 15 minutes. Went to the front and said, uh, do you have the tickets for Car Expo? And they said, no, we do not. We don't sell them at this con. You could buy them online. And I was like, what the fuck? Did I read this wrong? So I asked some of my friends that I was with, and they are like, no, that says you could buy them there. So then I was like thinking, like, oh, they probably sold out. And they're like, but she said, no, we do not sell these like at all. So I was like... Ah, oh, what the fuck? So, that was disappointed there. So, now let's talk about the panel. When we got there, the line was super long, and we were thinking, like, dude, like, we don't know if we're gonna get in. We asked uh, one of the person working at the convention, they said that the cap is 260, and we're at number 160, so we should be good. They did clear the room beforehand, so we were kind of guaranteed spots. We were going in, I was told that... During the Q&A, literally every question is going to be, when is this series going to come to Weiss? Or like, when is my clan going to get support? Literally the only two questions that they're going to ask. So, <laughs> I went in like, dude, this is going to be like a stupid panel. I went in, we, fought, we got our seats, we sat down. This was the best panel I have ever been to. Like, I've been to Mega64, I've been to Trigger when they announced uh, Little Witch Academia. I... Oh, this, this panel was... So much fucking fun. The the people, like, giving the announcements, working at the panel at the front, they were fucking funny. They were hilarious. Uh, the 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 audience watching the panel were they were just great. Everybody was having a great time. This is like this is, it was 
kind of less of an industry panel and more like a, we're gonna bullshit about cards. And it was super, super fun. And if every panel's like this, dude, I wanna go next year, cause it was amazing. During the Q&A, a good majority of it was, why hasn't my clan gotten support? When is this? Literally the first question was, Overlord is in Chaos TCG, when is it gonna come to Weiss? And these people were like, we have no idea what you're talking about. Like, they, <laughs> like, <laughs> and a good majority of the answers was, check the website. And everybody was just saying, check the website. Everybody, when somebody asked a question, everybody just yelled out, check the website. It, it was great. It was super, super great. Now, let's talk about the panel. I'm gonna pull up some notes, because I did write this all down. So the first thing that got announced was Vanguard Zero, the mobile game which they describe it as Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which kind of looks like it. Now, I don't know if it's going to be like condensed like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is, or I'm going to try to play it so I could, you know, get into Vanguard, because it seems kind of cool, but I've been told don't do it because it kind of sucks, but I don't know. We'll find out. So, for the new tournament, uh, we do get these promo cards. But Vice Schwartz does not have a promo card. So... Okay. We are going to get a Gurren Logan deck box though, which is kind of cool. Top Pete's going to get a Fate Apocrypha mat. The champion prize? Nah, there's no announcement yet, which... Uh, kind of sucks. And for Camera Expo, we're getting a couple of the Vanguard voice actors. Um... There was one dude that they were like, okay, and this guy, which is this character right here, and everybody was like turning to each other like, who is this guy? And the people announced, like, working at the panel, they were like, we did the exact same thing. We have no idea who this guy is. He had about three lines in the anime, like, I think of the first or the second episode. And, but hey, he's coming to Kara Expo, so, <laughs> all right. Also, we're going to get the third. And no joke, when they announced the third, I was like, oh, I, I'm super excited because I do like the third. Like, I saw a couple of their videos here and there. And I was like, dude, this band is sick. And I started clapping and cheering, but I was literally the only person like clapping and cheering. So I was kind of embarrassing. I was looking around, I was like, did you guys don't know the third? They're fucking sick. Like what, what are you guys doing? So for announcements, we're still getting Ray Zero. We knew that we're getting no game, no life, which is pretty cool. And then for the English exclusive set, you guys know it already. It's card capture Sakura. There was talks around cause there was like a leak saying that it was going to be one punch man and we all thought it was One Punch Man. We went in like, oh, as soon as they announced we're going to be a One Punch Man. But no, it was Card Capture Sakura. I'm not going to get a case. I might get two booster boxes, uh, depending if I see anything that's cool. There's uh, no release date that say, they did say probably January. But we know Bushy wrote in English. And at the very end of the presentation, we got these really cool Vanguard mats. Uh, these mats are... They're not mini, they're full size, they're standard. It's a standard sized mat, so they'll fit your wise cards. I do not play Vanguard, but I'm still gonna keep this. And yeah, that's what happened with Bushy Road at AX. Um, it was super fun. They knocked it out of the fucking park this year, I think. Except for the merchandise being, you know, sold out, they still did fucking great. So the only major complaint I do have was the merchandise selling out, but that was less on their part and more like on my part because I should have gotten there early. I should have just waited in line. I should have just gotten something. Also, the whole Kara Expo tickets not being available at the booth when they said it, they will be at the booth. And it's not that they sold out or anything. They just didn't have it. That was like a big issue with me because I really didn't want to go to Kara Expo. I'm like, dude, 15 bucks? Yeah, I'll pay 15 bucks to go to Kara Expo. I live close to Anaheim. It's like a... 20 minute drive for me. But yeah, they made up for uh, last year and I think they did really good. Now, uh, the next con I am gonna go to is actually Kara Expo or uh, Kamikaze or Stanley's Comic Con or like LA Comic Con, whatever the fuck they're going with now. And that's what happened with Bushy Road at AX. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Vice Wars news and content. And I guess Bushy Road content in general now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.